Hey guys, uh, Gao821 here with another Transformers video review. Um, this is my first uh, Transformers video review, and I have over 200 Transformers sitting in my room right now. So um, I'll st I'm just playing. I'm starting off with the movie figures, and then I'll st and then I'll go easily into G1 because I'm going from current to latest um, to earliest. So uh, here we are. Um, here's Transformers. This is actually um. A major, major modification of uh, the Battle Blades Bumblebee from 2010. Um, basically, uh, I don't know if you guys guys saw Pia's review um, where he got his uh, custom double blaster Bumblebee. But uh, I basically took that video, contacted Savio Prime. I actually just asked him a question; he didn't answer back. But I asked him, um, asked him a few questions about the customization, and then I proceeded to do the customization myself. Um, I am pretty impressed with, I'm proud of myself for doing this. There are some flaws with this, but, um, it, it truly is the best Bumblebee that's out there. Um, I'm hoping Savio Prime will eventually, um, release, like, a, a kit for modifying your Bumblebees. But, um, this thing is just better than anything. I mean, as you can see, Pia's review was with the standard, um, standard 2010 Camaro with the, the Dark and the Moon version of the customization. So you do see the spoiler here, you do see the striping all the way down the roof, you do see a screw there, but that's, uh, that'll be removed soon. Um, other than that, I mean, it just, it's, the whole thing is just awesome, I'm really proud of myself for doing it. And it's just better, and here's for a size comparison, sorry, here's for a size comparison with, uh, the regular Dark of the Moon Deluxe Bumblebee, uh, Nitro Bumblebee, and, uh, Dark of the Moon Skids and Mud Flap. Let's move this back here, and as you can see, um, this guy is just fantastic. I mean, he's, I mean, he just looks better. Yeah, he has some flaws, but I mean, other than that, he just, I mean, it just looks better. I mean, the paint here is just more standard. I mean, it it truly is a fantastic Bumblebee. So um, let's move this guy out of here. So. To transform this guy, uh, it's pretty much the same as Pia showed. You open up the doors, and you can see there are wire hinges here, instead of and these are snapped off, snapped off here. So, transform is going to lift this hood up, hood piece up like that, and then you go and flip this piece down, just like uh, Pia's review. Oh, and this is kind of loose on mine, but uh, then you go and open up the doors. They still snap in. Uh, grab hold of these arms under here and bring them out. And then go ahead and push the door all the way up against the wheel like that. Same here. Oh, this one's kind of stiff. But, uh, like that. Bring it out. Uh-oh, spoiler fell off. I'll get that later. It's just a spoiler. It slides into the back of this thing here. So, you actually kind of want to remove that for transformation. So, and then for the roof section here, you're going to detach. Bring it up. Um... Go ahead and this hinge here, just like uh, Pia's review, bring this piece up and around as these pieces go down. This piece will clamp on top of the hood piece and then this piece will just fold back. And then you can go and rotate it, like so. And uh, of course my hinges aren't as good as Savio Prime's, so you'll see them flopping around. I have actually made my own customizations for it to keep it in place. So uh, you'll see that later. Now for the front here, I'm going to go and pull the Autobot symbol forward. Um, bend uh, the grill pieces forward, not the grill, the headlights. I bend them all the way up so that it's totally straightened, and then these uh, fender pieces are not, no longer part of the wheels, so it does look a lot more dynamic. Um, sadly, this this version, the Dark of the Moon version, does not have the, the, the abdomen ab piece that he had in the movie, so I'll try to maybe do that. I kind of like it right now, but let's go and pull the arms out here that. Let's hope nothing snaps off. Um, like that. Go and, uh, and mine doesn't have double blaster, but I did buy a second Bumblebee and customize the arm. So this has two blasters. So this really does have a double blaster. You can just remove the blade arm. The handout. Like that. And for the legs here, um, go and detach the fender pieces here, straighten the leg out, fold the foot out, foot down, um, flip the heel up, and flip 
the heel back and snap it up like that. And there's also some articulation in this heel too. And then for these pieces here, I um, put them on ball joints just like Savio Prime. By the way, I give him all the credit for this because I uh, pretty much used his design and I'm thankful that he did it. So thank you Savio Prime for that. And then you can see, just like that. Bring it out, ball joint, fold the foot out, fold the toe out, like that. And now, what you want to do is go ahead and fold this piece, fold the whole torso piece down, tab it in, hold the head out, fold the doors back, like that. Now for the backpack, here it is. You can see how it's really floppy, it's really just a big mess right now. So you, what I did was I put a little tab here, and where the hole is there, I uh, simply tabbed, have it, had it tab in, like uh, this, let me show you here. Like that, and it would tab in and it would stay in place. And this piece likes to flop out a lot. It really would stay in place. So this really is the perfect bumblebee. Um, like that. So, like that. And he still has his back wings and everything. And so, now finally, just go ahead and adjust the wings and everything. Move this arm out of the way. Let's adjust the camera. <laughs> finally just adjust everything. Um, the door wings here look, look, look a lot more dynamic, I think at least. Um, so, uh, and here you have the double blaster, not really double blaster, just the totally revamped Battle Blades Mumblebee in robot mode. As you can see, he is very, very, very good looking. Um, as I mean, he really does appeal, like so appealing. Such a great figure. Um, this this totally blows this this piece of crap <laughs> out of the way, out of the water. I mean, you got all the nice. You got the white license plate there. You got all the nice. You got the blade. You can flip out and everything. You can chop it. Still, the blade still is upside down. Though there really is no way to flip that over. So I kind of just don't use that and then he has his cannon arm here with the uh, you can split this pull the hand back pull the cannon forward and he has his uh, cannon and um, as you can see the backpack is really neat it really is so um, I like that and the ball joints here really help with them just more movie accuracy and the paint apps on this thing are amazing so I mean it really is so, um, and of course, you can take the other arm off, snap it off, and take his other arm I made, snap it on, and now you have two cannons. So I just think that's fantastic, and he is a lot bigger. I didn't t put the heel customizations in. I didn't put the chest customization in because I simply just thought it would be this thing snapped off. I simply thought it'd just be too ugly for it. No offense, Avio Prime. I, I just, it's personal preference for me, but um, this really just snapping in. But it, it really is the, probably the best bumblebee I've ever had, and I'm not gonna buy any other bumblebee for my ultimate collection. So, uh, there it is, um, Transformers, uh, not really Dark on the Moon, Battle Blades, Battle Blade, Dull Blaster, but will be. And, uh, just for a quick size person, let me just quickly transform this guy here. Um, sorry about that. Plus, the old Bumblebee is made of really cheap plastic, so I just don't, I don't feel that this Bumblebee deserves a right spot in my collection. Because it really doesn't, it doesn't represent Bumblebee to its full potential. So, uh, snap that in, put the windows up, down, push the arms, and there is the, 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 this, the standard sunken head Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. You can see he is a lot smaller and just a lot, just bad, and this is, the coloring on this is just fanta um, fantastic. So, I mean, this really is a dull figure, and this just is the best Mulby. So, uh, shout out to Xavier Prime. Thank you for the customizations. Um, I give you all the credit for this, for this video. Uh, 
Uh, just again, thank you. I really hope that you will uh, make a mass production of this guy. So until next time, guys, this is uh, Gao821 with uh, Double Blaster Custom Bumblebee. Thanks.